All right, in this problem, we're, uh, in this problem, we're using summation notation. And our, this is just sort of a simple um, problem where we try to understand what the summation notation means. We have an expression 2i minus 1. And what I'm going to do is just copy that down. But I'm going to leave a blank space where i goes. And what I'm going to do is then I add, I, I put in i as 1. And then I'll put in i is 2. And then i is 3. And then finally, i is 4. So i changes starting at 1 and goes to 4. Let's mix up the color there. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it's just you know simplifying. I tried to pick a small number, so it wouldn't be too bad. 2, two minus 1 is 1. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5. 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7. You know what? I, I, copy, I started copying these down wrong, which I'm sure many of you have noticed. It's 2i minus 1. I started doing 2i plus 1. So that led to all these wrong numbers. 2 times 1 minus 1 is 1. 2 times 2 minus 1 is 3. 2 times 3 minus 1 is 5. 2 times 4 minus 1 is 7. Add those up. Let's see, this is 4, this is 12, so the final answer will be 16 on that one. The next one is just, I tried to make something which I thought was more fun, but that's debatable. This is fun. Um, I'm going to copy down the formula, cosine pi over 2 times i. Well, I start off with i is 0. Then I'll have cosine pi over 2 times 1. Cosine pi over 2 times 2, cosine pi over 2 times 3, cosine pi over 2 times 4. Is it too much? Yeah, why did I make this so many? But I think it's going to be okay. Cosine pi over, two, uh, pi over 2 times 5 times 6. Cosine pi over 2 times 7. So this is going to make cosine 0 plus cosine pi over 2 plus cosine pi plus cosine 3 halves pi plus cosine 2 pi plus cosine 5 halves pi cosine 3 pi plus cosine 7 halves pi. That might seem like a terrible amount of stuff, but actually this problem, um, if we look at the unit circle, uh, turns out to be not so bad to evaluate those numbers. So let's, let's see how we can do that. If I can get that circle drawn. Okay, at zero, I have one zero, and keep in mind that cosine is the first coordinate. At pi over 2, I have 0, 1. Cosine is the first coordinate again. Pi of negative 1, 0. 3 as pi. 0, negative 1. 2 pi is 1, 0. And what else do I get? I get 5 halves pi. Same coordinate, 0, 1. And then 3 pi is negative 1, 0. And then 7 halves pi is 0, negative 1. So... When I add these up, I get, I'm just going to actually just go through these points. Zero, I'm just going around and getting the points. And what I do is I get the x coordinates. So cosine zero is one, then cosine pi over two is zero. Cosine pi is negative one. Cosine three as pi is zero. Cosine two pi is one. Cosine five as pi is zero. Cosine three pi is negative one. Cosine 7 half pi is 0. And what does that give us? We see that we have canceling 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. Aha, the whole thing's equal to 0. So I thought that was sort of good. Good problem there. Okay, so that's a reviewing of um, summations and a little bit of trig thrown in.